welcome. Today we will crochet a tiny ice cap for Easter eggs. So the top of the egg will be covered with the ice cap. And we'll also draw different smiley faces and emotions for each egg like these ones. And we'll crochet this ice cap. So let's get started. The yarn we'll use for this project is Ollie's Cotton Gold, it's 100% cotton. And we'll use a size 3 hook. We'll begin with the starting knot. Then we do 4 chain stitches. 2, 3, 4. And join it with a slip stitch. Now chain up one for the new row. We started with four chains and now we'll do two single crochets in each chain stitch. So here is a single crochet and another one in the same stitch. And another two stitches in the next stitch. And another two. And two stitches in the last stitch. Then we finish with a slip stitch. So we started with four chains then we did two single crochets in each stitch to end up with eight stitches. I'll just mark the starting point. Now for the second row. First we chain up one to start the new row. For this row the sequence will be one single crochet then two single crochets in the next stitch. And then one stitch. Then two stitches. And continue the same way. One stitch then two. We've reached the starting point. And we join the round with a slip stitch. So the sequence for this row was one stitch then two. Now for the next row. I'll mark the starting point here. We start this row with an individual stitch. So one stitch in the first stitch, then one stitch in the next stitch and then two stitches in the next stitch. And repeat, one stitch, one stitch, then an increase, two stitches together in the same stitch, one stitch, one stitch, then two stitches. Now we'll notice the circle is not flat anymore and that's because of the increases we did. Then two stitches in the next stitch. We've reached the starting point. So finish off with a slip stitch. Then we start a new row. This is the starting point. We'll start the next row with three individual stitches. So one single crochet in each stitch. 
then two stitches together in the same stitch, and then three individual stitches, and an increase. Again, three individual stitches. Then two stitches together, three individual stitches, then two stitches together, this is the last stitch and we finish with a single crochet. Now I'll start using a new color, I'll choose the white. Connect it like so and chain up one to start the new row. I'm weaving these ends into my work. All stitches in this row will be individual stitches, one stitch in each stitch. We didn't do any increases here at all, all stitches are individual. As we're used to, I'm weaving both ends into my work to get a neat and nice finishing. I weaved it in enough. So before I continue I'll cut off the extra yarn. and continue the same way without any increases. No increases here because we don't want to give the ice cap more width. We've already reached the desired width and now we're working on the height. Now I'm done with this row. And now I'll use the green color again. Chain up one for the new row. As always I'm weaving these ends in my work. And continue working the same number of stitches without any increases. Doing one single crochet in each stitch. I'll just cut off the extra yarn. And continue working this row to the end without any increases, one stitch in each stitch. Finish with a slip stitch and we're done with this row. I'll use the white color again. You can choose any colors you want and repeat it as many times as you prefer. 
you can choose to make the whole ice cap with one color or change the colors of rows. Or do more than two rows of each color. I chained one for the new row and I'm getting both ends with me into my work. I'll cut off the extra yarn. I like to clean my work after each step to get a nice and neat finish at the end. Now I'll use the green color again and I'll finish my work with it. Chain 1 and start the new row. Working all the way individual single crochets. I'll cut off the extra yarn. and finish this row with a slip stitch. Now for the last two rows we'll do something a little bit different at the end of the ice cap. We'll do a back post single crochet. So as we can see I won't insert the hook from the front as usual, I'll go into the stitch from behind. Like so. Then yarn over. It's a bit difficult because the single crochet is so tight. Then we do the regular single crochet like so. Then we go into the stitch from behind, a back post single crochet. We'll notice that these rows are different from the previous rows which we did with a regular stitch. So this is a back post single crochet and as we see this row is a little bit more visible. And continue the same way. Doing a row of back post single crochet going into the stitch in the below row from behind, like so.
then finish with a slip stitch as usual and then we start a new row. We'll also work this row with back post single crochets. Going into the stitch from behind. Now the ice cap is almost completed. As we see the ice cap is so tiny. And of course we'll crochet a normal size ice cap in upcoming videos. And we'll demonstrate the width at the start and its stitches count. Now let's finish it off. and cut off any extra yarn. I'll use the yarn needle to clean off this part. Just so we've demonstrated everything in detail. Now for the pom-pom ball at the top of the ice cap. Get the end of the strand. And skip approximately 10 centimeters, get the strand between my fingers like so. And start wrapping the yarn on my fingers. like so. This way, interchangeably. As much as we need. Now this is the first end of the strand. And this is the other end. I'll get some length then cut it off. Now get the first end of the strand from below like so. Then I'll use the needle to get it through the rounds I have on my fingers and pull tight on the center. Then wrap it again. Wrap it a couple of times and pull tight each time. I'll get both ends of the strand and tie a knot after I wrap them enough.
so I pulled the strand tight on the center of the rounds I did on both fingers and now I'll pull these rounds off. These are both ends. I'll tie another knot to be sure it's tight enough on the center. So the knot is securely tied on the center of the rounds. And leave both ends like so. Now I'll get the scissors and go inside the rounds on this side. And cut it off. And do the same on the other side. Make sure to cut all of them. Now we finished this part. And we'll attach it at the top of the ice cap. I'll use the yarn needle. I'll get both ends of the strand into the needle. Like so. Insert the needle exactly into the center of the ice cap and pull it from the inside. Now I attached the ball at the top and pulled the strand then I'll flip the ice cap like so. Using the yarn needle I'll weave in the yarn to attach the ball to the ice cap. I'm pulling it tight so the ball is tightly attached to the ice cap. I'm weaving the yarn into the ice cap. And I'm trying to insert the needle into the ball as well to attach it more securely to the body of the ice cap. Try to secure it in place tight. I'll tie a knot. And another knot to secure it more. And cut off the extra yarn. I'll cut this round I missed. I need them all to be the same length so I'll trim the ends. Now it looks nice. And we have this egg here, we already drew a face on it. Start placing the ice cap carefully on the egg. And now we've completed an ice cap for the Easter egg, thank you.